missing that key player on your team and do not have the coins to afford them, make sure you check out Buy Mug Coins for instant Madden coins and always use code SAVAGE for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Savage here. Welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. Merry Christmas Eve, man. I hope your holidays are filled with joy, man. I hope you guys have a great time with family and friends, all of that good stuff. Giving people gifts, receiving gifts, enjoying your time. But of course, you got to fit a little bit of Savage into that schedule. And here I am, man. Got a, quite a few things to talk about, including where we finished in Weekend League. And Michael Vick is apparently coming out tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Time. I am so excited guys if you could so kindly smack a big fat thumbs up on the button if you are excited for Michael Vick comment down below if you are getting Michael Vick and also comment down below where you finished for weekend league now I just want to give you guys a friendly reminder just in case you don't stay in touch with me and the rest of the Madden community via Twitter uh, pretty much Kralo who's the community manager for Madden Ultimate Team he went out and he said that weekend league rewards will not be coming out on Tuesday tomorrow is Christmas so obviously you know dude it's Christmas I probably won't be uploading a video tomorrow uh, weekend league rewards will be uh, distributed on Wednesday, uh, December 26th. So that is when Weekend League rewards will come out. That's definitely going to be dope. And where did we finish in the Weekend League? Everybody's like, Savage, where did you finish? We went 24-1. and one. If you guys missed that video on Friday, uh, which is a great record still. It sucks. I couldn't go 25-0 and 0 back to back to back. But hey, man, yo, we are 74-1 and one for the month, which puts us at number two in the world just by a mere strength of schedule difference with its radiance so that's pretty cool man but hey bro i think i think we're gonna finish strong i really want to go 25 and 0 in this next week and i think we are going to get our piece of the puzzle that we needed which was michael vick so guys that is what i want to talk about now for the majority of this video because michael vick in my opinion is still the best quarterback in the game. I don't care about no Steve Young. I don't care about no Donovan McNabb. I don't care about no, no quarterback in this game. No Russell Wilson. No Andrew Luck. No nothing. No nothing. Nobody out, out, out Michaels the Vic. No one out Michaels Mike Vick, okay? Nobody is as good as Michael Vick in Madden. That's just a fact. That is just something that every person who plays Ultimate Team, any person who has ever played Madden knows Michael Vick is the cheat code in this game because of his speed alone. Now, Michael Vick's stats so far on the card that we have. Now, remember, guys, we have John Madden maxed out passing. We have John Madden as speed. We have Sprinter maxed out. We have Go Deep maxed out. We have Conductor on him. We have all these big boosts. We have Falcons Pass Chemistry Tier 5 on him. We have a bunch of chemistries that make Michael Vick a little bit better than other people's Michael Vick. So with that being said, if Michael Vick gets a couple... Let's say Michael Vick's card tonight. It's looking like they're going to do a Snow Beast for him. So he's going to be an 80 overall. If they go up to like a 96 overall, these Snow Beasts could cost a lot. I want to know how much you think it's going to cost. I think these cards could cost... Probably over 10,000 snow. It's a Champ Bailey, Tony Gonzalez, and Michael Vick. So with that being said, if these cards cost over 10,000 snow, I'm going to show you how much snow is right now in a second. That, that's a lot. I mean, it's going to be a lot regardless. I think it's snow is going for 700,000 coins. Over 700k gets you about 7,200 snow. So you're going to be essentially paying for a million. You're going to be paying a million coins for, for Michael Vick over a mil. Plus the training you're going to need too because you're probably going to need to power him up with training first, then the snow card. So with that being said right there, I want to know, on his 96, 97 overall, whatever it may be that comes out later tonight, I want to know what you guys think his stats are going to be. So my guesses are, is my 92 speed is going to go up to 94? My 95 throw power is going to go up to a 98? My 90 throw accuracy short is going to go up to a 92? My 85 throw accuracy mid is going to go up to an 87? His 91 throw accuracy deep, I think might actually go up to a 94? His throw under pressure is going to go up to a 90. Throw on the run, definitely 96, 97. His play action, don't really care about. But what I do care about also are some of the stats that you guys might like a little bit more. So a big reason why people like Michael Vick is because of his juking, his spinning, his ball carrier moves. This dude, you know, he's 90 ball carrier vision, 87 spin, 90 juke move. I mean, he's always just one of the most versatile players in the game. So that is why a lot of people use him. Now for me though, you guys know me, I don't really use any of the ball carrier moves. I like to do everything with the right trigger and the left stick and really make people miss that way. But I want to know, do you guys think he goes up? to like 90 spin do you guys think he goes over 90 spin which would just make him pretty much have the glitchiest that you think he's gonna get i don't even know can you get spin specialist on michael vick at the quarterback position right now i don't even know let's go ahead and let's go and take a look at what actual chemistry ability you can't get spin specialist yet will tonight be the first night you might be able to get spin specialist will you be able to get two chemistries 
on Michael Vick. Will I be able to get Gunslinger and Conductor on Mike Vick? Will tonight be the night? Who knows? It's going to be very exciting. Now, what I'm scared about, though, is the price. Because if EA goes snow happy again, with, like they've been going for the most of the promo, it's going to be kind of rough. Because I only have about 400,000 coins. We can leave. don't come out until Wednesday. So I won't be getting my million coins plus until Wednesday. But that doesn't mean I can't obviously, you know, sell things in my binder to get this Michael Vick. I'm also pretty close to another John Madden. So if I play Madden throughout the day and stuff like that and just chill and, and, and you know, just play my game and stuff, maybe, just maybe, maybe I might be able to get another John Madden, sell that John Madden, get my coins up before the night, and then be able to, you know, ma make a couple make a couple hundred thousand coins to be able to secure the bag on that Mike Vick later. Because that's what I want. So as you can see right here, Steve Young uh, is about 751,000 coins. I'm going to just filter by offense. Uh, see how much? Yep. Okay, so Steve Young was the cheapest. 751k, I get you about 7,200 snow. So if Michael Vick is a million or 10,000 snow, you're going to need to buy one of him. And you're going to need to buy a Ghost of Christmas Future which is about, that gives you, I think, what, 2860 2, snow? So 2860 snow plus the 7200 snow, that's about 10,800 or 10, yeah, 10,000, like 800 snow or 10,000 something snow. 10, it's like 10,000, I think, or 9,860 snow, something like that. I think I'm right. Or no, it's 10,600 snow. Regardless, it's a lot of freaking snow. You're spending over a million coins. You're spending about 1.1 million coins on that Michael Vick. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Michael Vick is going to be that much? Do you guys think that Michael Vick is going to be that worth it? Like I said, I already gave you my guesses on his stats. I just want to know what your guesses on his stats are. Because personally, for me, I don't care what if it's just plus ones. He could literally go up to 93 speed, 96 throw power, 91 throw mid, or 91 throw short, 86 throw mid, 92 throw deep, 89 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, 87 play action. And then they could give him plus ones across. I, I just need a new Vick. I personally need a new Vic. Now, the second I'm allowed to slap Gunslinger on him with Conductor, it's GG's in the chat. I probably won't lose a game because Gunslinger means that your ball, the ball's going to be able to get out of his hands quicker because the users aren't going to be able to react, react quick enough. The, event, the AI is definitely not going to be able to react quick enough. And you're going to be able to, you know, that low ball that I missed that cost me 25-0, and 0, those types of plays, Vic isn't going to miss because with Gunslinger, Vic is doesn't i'm I, dude i had gunslinger on rogers last year that dude rogers was the baddest bad i think i think it was like the conductor gunslinger version of him where you could get bu dual dual ability it might have been him or was it far i forget which way was a packers qb it might have even been Derek. Carr. it was one of them they had conductor and gunslinger or gunslinger or it might have been luck i was rocking with luck a lot like it was one of those four quarterbacks that could be ironically enough most of them were number 12 except for Favre. but one of them qbs had gunslinger and conductor and you could just go pew, pew, and you could make 52 different adjustments and just gunslinger was so good stafford also had it last year and stafford was my boy but i definitely want to know are we going to be able to dual chem up michael vick with conductor and gunslinger are we going to be able to you know maybe get him at an attainable price i wouldn't be mad if i have to you know play madden a little bit today get john madden and sell john madden to get my mill and then be able to afford michael vick because like i said man i've been waiting for michael vick so freaking long you guys always hear me talking about once we get a new vic it's over it's over it's over it's over uh there's a champ bailey coming so anybody who's like a big broncos fan or something that that's been waiting for this new champ you got him anybody who's a big chiefs or falcons fan you've been waiting for this tony g you got him it's gonna be awesome to see these cards come out tonight because i feel like i feel like it is christmas eve tomorrow is christmas ea's gotta be a little generous right they were generous in these last couple of days with the limited packs if you follow me on twitter you know i didn't like some of them that cost some money but for the most part the ones that cost the training and snow were really fun so i definitely have fun with that i thought they were awesome i did like the platinum packs and stuff so that's just me man i personally feel like i personally i personally 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 i feel like we might we might we might get a generous a generous look at ea regarding how much snow it's going to cost i will not be opening like any of the bundles or the packs and stuff that come out it's just not me i just i just don't like spending money on the game i have zero need to because finishing in the top 10 every week gets you a million coins and if you guys do want to you know elevate your game and you really do want to get to that next level where you might not like let's say you spend money now but you really don't want to get into that habit still but you wish you could get into like the top 10 top 25 and get like 500,000 600,000 700,000 1 million coins plus a week check out my website savagemanded.com the schemes on there are instantly going to improve your game to get you those extra two or three wins that you might need to crack into the top 100 so that you can save your money 
on other things. Just a one-time payment on SavageMadden.com will make you not have to spend a dime again on any Madden that you play because you will always be at the next level. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. I really do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I definitely, you know, man, it's it's fun talking with you guys sometimes rather than just playing because I know sometimes gameplay can get repetitious and stuff. But I mean, for the most part, um, you know, it's fun to make these videos where we kind of like break it down and I give you guys my little antics on what I think might happen. So hopefully I'm right, man. Hopefully I'm right and we can maybe, you know, we might, we might, might have a brand we might have a 97 vic with slinger and uh and conductor on him maybe up to like 93 94 95 speed oh my goodness it'll be like having freaking a running back at it'll like be having like ricky williams throwing dots bro it'll be unbelievable i'm really excited for it i hope you guys are too have a wonderful rest of your night fellas as always